Hey guys, it's Scott here with the NOA, and I wanted to talk about, kind of have like an open discussion, talk about um, these two two things that a lot of us have in our lives, and I think they go. There's a fine line in between both of them, and uh, that is. Preparedness and paranoia. I think there's a really fine line in between those two things. You want to be as prepared as you can, but sometimes you come across as, as being paranoid. I've been thinking about this here lately uh, because, as some of you know, there's been a lot of challenges and changes and decisions that I've had to do on pretty much in this last month and I was trying to break down what paranoia and preparedness meant to me now I want you guys to understand something this is a topic that all of us have an opinion on and it's going to be different for everybody. I know that. It's going to, I know that it's going to be different for everybody. Not, not one person is going to be the same. Um, because there's levels. There's levels of preparedness and paranoia. There's just levels. You know, if we go back a little bit, paranoia, is it good? Yeah, it can be. Paranoia can save your life in a lot of situations. Uh, being prepared can save your, save your life in a lot of situations. Can being too prepared not not save your or be against you in some way? Maybe. If you're too prepared, you have too much stuff, too much equipment, waiting for too many things and and I will give you an example where, where I think it can hurt you in your life. For instance, you're trying to be way too prepared, you have too much stuff, you're worried too much about all this gear and everything that you're doing to be prepared, and then you're missing the moment of your son catching a fish of your son realizing how something worked how how, how to start a fire because you're too prepared on oh we got to keep everything so so organized and this and that and yeah that can that can harm you i truly believe that with paranoia oh man you can be you can go light years in paranoia you know it just you can be way too paranoid you can't enjoy life same thing you can't enjoy life you just won't it just won't allow you so those two things can help you and can also harm you so if we go back I've thought a lot about being prepared and having paranoia you know and and a big part about about being paranoid is that you're not prepared for what's coming that's where the paranoia comes in right that's where the paranoia comes in so like I said there's a lot of things a lot of challenges a lot of changes that I'm me and my family are going through right now and not knowing that you're doing the right decision is paranoia and you feel that it's it's very difficult not to so the decisions that you do in your life when you're prepared, when you're fully prepared to do whatever it is that's coming at you, the paranoia level is low. When you're not, the paranoia level is high. So I bring this to y'all. I, I want to see what you what you guys think. Put in comments. I, I want to see what what you guys do to prepare yourself for. To fight paranoia, or if para, you know, if to some people paranoia is good, I, I gotta agree. Some paranoia is, yeah. To me, sometimes it is, yeah. Uh, paranoia is good. It keeps you safe. It keeps you on your on your toes. Um, I'll give you an example, and I know some of you guys do this, and some don't. But you know, you're at you're at home. I'll give me an example. You're at home. Um, you're getting ready to go somewhere work or whatever and you're by yourself your whole family's 
out, out and about or whatever, and you go take a shower. Well, guess what? There's a gun with you. Because <laughs> you don't, you just don't know what's, what's going to happen, right? There you go. You don't know, so there's paranoia. That's a, they go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. And, um, you know, you have the gun in the bathroom with you or something like that. And just in case, you don't know what could happen. You're by yourself, someone breaks into the house, which happens. You got a gun with you. Am I paranoid or am I being prepared? The fine line, fine line. So I call that the two P's, paranoia, preparedness. So chime in, give me, give me your all's thought. Um, it's it's a, it's a topic that I've been kicking around a lot uh, here lately, and uh, I know at the end everything will be good. I know it. It's just in the middle, the middle time where it's a little rough. All right, guys. Um, like I said, just give me some comments. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Give me a video. If you guys, if you guys feel you need, give me a video response on it. Let me have it. I, I want to hear about it. And uh, just a lot of things, a lot of things to think about. I'll see you guys next time on uh, the next outdoor adventure.